Hello, how you doing? Hey, quick story. It's Friday and I posted something earlier about finishing strong, starting fresh, but as I was dropping my kid off to camp, I thought of a story. Um, anyways, my neighbor and I, a good friend, we went to go to my dad's house a few summers ago to clean out his garage. And through the course of our cleaning out his garage and helping him get rid of some stuff, my neighbor and my dad were talking and my dad was talking about the projects he was doing at work, this, that, and the other. And my dad is no spring chicken. He's a young, whatever his age is, but um, <laughs> but his years are, uh, you know, he's been around the block a few times. Anyways, quick story, or trying to make it quick. My neighbor said, don't you want to retire or something to like to that effect? And my dad looked at him and said, I am retired. And so I thought that was pretty funny because he's working, but he's retired. So uh, that's my take or that's his take on retirement. And I think my take or what my takeaway was is that um, he's in control of his life and he's doing what he wants to do. So as it pertains to finishing strong, I was thinking about this that school, you know, grade school and and high school, maybe a bit of college, not so much graduate school, didn't really train me to finish strong because I didn't enjoy school. Not many kids do, but I didn't enjoy school so much. So I was always looking forward to Friday. And the closer I got to Friday, the harder it was for me to be at school and be engaged in my work. Now, when I went to graduate school, especially the second and third time to get my MBA and doctorate, it was much easier to finish strong because I wanted to be there. I was actually looking forward to the next thing. Um, however, I will say that I struggled. I struggled a great deal with finishing strong early in my pro racing career. And I think it stemmed from that training I had from grade school and, and first few years in college because even though I wanted to race and I wanted to be there, I just had this habit of taking myself out of the present moment and saying, oh, I want to be home now or it's time to go or looking, you know, looking past where I was uh, to finish the task. So that's my take. Uh, and I think a lot of people on Friday or Monday, you know, you see Monday motivation and you see this kind of thank God it's Friday kind of thing. But what if... What if all of us worked to really do something we enjoy to where it didn't matter what day of the week it was, we still did it? Meaning even if you didn't get paid for it, you would do it anyway. And I think that's the cool part about this life and about, um, candidly, some of the work I do with, with, with anybody really, but athletes and, and entrepreneurs and executives, they're really working to forge their own way and forge their own path into the world to where it doesn't matter what time of day it is, doesn't matter what day of the week it is, almost doesn't even matter what month it is. I mean, I know some people where holidays actually get in their way. Um, that's an extreme example, but but that's an incredible amount, I don't wanna say control, because barring anything ridiculous or, or catastrophic or illness or something, I mean, we, we only have so much control, but, as far as the empowerment of that, that's that's a truly great thing to have. And not only that, it's a great thing to pass on to your child. And I, I sincerely believe that that is something that I got from um, the Richardson family, my dad in particular, because he always worked. And, I, and even as a kid, I would wonder, why are you working? Not why are you working so hard, but don't you ever want to stop or don't you want to relax? But I realized like relaxing and stopping was just not, wasn't that it wasn't an option. I'm sure at times it wasn't an option, but I think he enjoyed what he did. Ultimately, he liked putting the bids together, getting the next deal, seeing the school being built, whatever it was. I think he liked that. Um, and so it, it wasn't, it was beyond the work. It was beyond relaxation. I think, I think, um, you know, going to his office, his work was kind of like, was, was almost like his church, which, um, I've done a video on that even go to church, but that was his place. That was his, um, that was what he did and part of who he was. So 
I think we can all do that in our own world is find that thing that we like and that we're willing to do to where it doesn't matter what day or time or week it is and enjoy it and that's my message for Friday uh, because it's Friday so looking forward to having a conversation with you all please share it if you like it please like it if you share it all the above um, drjasonrichardson.com at dr j rich at real dr j rich on twitter and i do appreciate you all listening and oh with regard to that last video i did uh regarding race and all that other stuff i do thank you very much for listening and sharing that um and and hopefully we can have more important discussions about all things um winning in life business and sport take care